Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has concluded his visit to the United States. On the last leg of the U.S. tour, he addressed the summit of the future in New York. Now, the theme of the summit is multilateral solutions for a better tomorrow. Addressing world leaders, Prime Minister Modi stressed on the need for peace. He said that success of humanity lies in collective strength and not on the battlefield. Friends, success of humanity lies in our collective strength, not in the battlefield. और वैश्विक शांति एवं विकास के लिए ग्लोबल संस्थाओं में रिफॉर्म्स आवश्यक है रिफॉर्म इज द की टू रिलेवेंस अफ्रीकन यूनियन को नई दिल्ली समिट में जी ट्वेंटी की स्थायी सदस्यता इसी दिशा में during his address, Prime Minister Modi also outlined India's anti-poverty efforts, digital services, and other initiatives as well. Bharat me 250 million logon ko garibi se bahar nikal kar humne ye dikhaya hai ki sustainable development can be successful. सक्सेस का हमारा यह अनुभव हम ग्लोबल साउथ के साथ साझा करने के लिए तैयार है फॉर मोर ऑन दिस आर कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंट सूजन तेहरानी सेंड अस दिस रिपोर्ट Prime Minister Narendra Modi's recent three-day trip to the United States strengthened ties between the two nations showcasing India's growing global prominence Prime Minister Modi attended the Quad Summit discussing maritime security, technology, clean energy, as well as health with leaders from the United States, Australia and Japan. He also addressed the Indian diaspora in Long Island, New York, emphasizing India's a transformation into a land of opportunities and recognizing them as, quote, India's strongest brand ambassadors before a crowd of over 13,000 bilateral meetings with other leaders and engagement with top CEOs was also on the agenda. His speech at the United Nations highlighted India's commitment to sustainable development and human-centric approaches, emphasizing collective strength over conflict. Prime Minister Modi's trip aimed to demonstrate India's commitment to global cooperation, peaceful resolution, as well as economic growth, solidifying its position on the world stage. Uh, Susan Tefrani reporting from New York for We On World Is Why.